start off my career as a, a, a trial attorney. And no, I had no time. Never. I, 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 there were weeks where I kid you not, I build 80, 90 hours that week. And those are painful. And you tell yourself, I have no time to be efficient or do any better. But if you look at these types of things, I mean, if, if you have a team, let's say their hands handling incoming documents from some regulator or some court every day, and it's three hours worth of time. Think about how that adds up. In just a month, you're looking at uh, 60 hours a month. You're looking at yearly, over 700 hours a year. Think how much you're paying for that and how much you could be paying folks who typically have the kind of training. They could be doing things that are billable and, and, and that add value as opposed to pushing virtual paper around. Even if this takes to two or three hours, let's say it takes to five to come up with exactly what you want, you're looking at those five hours saving you hundreds. And when we look at where we're going within the law and we look at where, where, where we should be, the absolute guru of this, the, the person we all look to is, of course, Richard Susskind. He's been writing stuff for 20 plus years. He's, he teaches at both Oxford and Cambridge and he's knighted. So I'm still waiting for my form for that in the mail, by the way. Maybe I'll set up something to receive it. And so there is no higher person when they talk about this. And, and here we have from just a few years ago, the American Immigration Lawyers Association wrote a report comprehensive report on the future of immigration law practice. And they quote Susskind from one of his early works. He's been saying this for 20 years. The electronic creation and transmission of digitally stored information, that's the future of law. And he believes, and he has been saying this, and we're starting to see this, that law is going to be transformed from something where we're always hands-on and it's always us having to do everything even when, let's face it, it's not work that adds value. When we're lawyers who take that stuff out of a PDF and throw it into some case management system or copy and paste it into an email, that there's no value for that. When we have to double check things, triple check things to make sure that the 12th time we've typed in a name or something from a form that we're, we're getting is right, we're not adding value. And so what we're seeing is we're starting to see lawyers package their work into electronic forms and that the low end, high margin legal advice will become low cost, high volume commodity. And let me tell you, that just keeps creeping up because in the end, so much of what we do can be automated. Um, I mean, Bill, we're certainly seeing in other practices beyond immigration where this all is coming from, aren't we? 